Hey guys, it's your girl Shaken back with another video. So I am doing an unboxing video. So I recently purchased my first like luxury designer bag from um Saks. They were having a like a really good sale. So it was like you if you spent over a certain amount, you got three hundred dollars off. So I decided to buy my first YSL handbag from Saks. Now, if you are interested in a lot of designer bags, I definitely recommend signing up for Saks um, email um, listing because they do tend to run a lot of sales on their designer items. So I was able to get a lot of nice designer things from some of the brands that I like from Saks lately. So I thought I'd just give you that bit of advice. Um, so it came in a box like this. And it says Saks Fifth Ave. And then the bag came in the box like this. So it is the YSL um, chain on wallet monogram um, de Pondere in the color of Nero. Um, and so it looks like this. And it also hit you know some nice um packaging to make sure the bag was secure so when you open the box it has your receipt let me make sure my address is not showing but it has the receipt so this bag is originally 15.90 i think and i got it for 12.90 so it's the wallet on chain medium black um no size um YSL handbag. Um, so the total price was $12.90. And then with with tax, it came up to $13.67, which is not bad for a medium size um, handbag. So when you open the box, it comes with a duster bag and it still has the wrapping. So I haven't taken it out. This is my first time. I just opened the box to see when I first got it, but I have not did anything else. It also comes with a wire seal. I think this is the instructions on how to clean it and take care of it. So I will put that in the box. So the bag, I just love this bag. The reason why I selected this bag is because the black detailing most of YSL bags this part is gold I selected this because you really don't find too many of the handbags with the black on black so I thought this was very classic timeless piece and it could be worn with a lot of different outfits and stuff like that I felt like I would get more wear out of this because of the black on black detailing so when you open the bag I'm gonna let you see up close. And this is the back. Only thing I would say about this bag, it's very hard to get open. Um, but the butt, it says wide seal. Um, and then on the inside, let me take some of this stuff out, but on the inside, it has So you have a lot of space on the inside of the bag. At the front, it's an open space. I don't know if you can see, but it's just an open space. And then in the middle, you have a zipper where you can put like your cash and your change. It also has a tag um, right there, so I'll remove that. And then on the inside of the bag, it has like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight card holders. Um, and then on the inside it says Saint Laurent Paris. Um, so what I like about this bag is you can carry it as a clutch, and um, you could uh, take the looks like you could take the chain off and just carry it as a clutch like this, or you could wear it as a crossbody. 
Now what I like about this chain also is because it has the black detailing as well. So I do like that aspect of it. And I just think this, like when you buy the luxury items, I just think that it's best to get like neutral colors and timeless pieces. I feel like this piece would definitely be timeless. I don't think it would definitely go out of style. So when you spend a lot of money like that, I, I definitely recommend sticking to your neutral colors and sticking to colors and styles that will potentially last the test of time. And that will easily be able to go with a lot of outfits because you're spending so much money on this item those are the items that I, I, I definitely recommend and being that i do not own a lot of luxury items i just feel like if i'm going to spend all this money i'm just going to stick to the basic colors for now and as my collection grows then i will decide hey i might want to expand and get a pop of color or different type of styles but for now also and if you're trying to maybe potentially resale at a later date you want to stick to neutral colors because they do best with reselling and the condition of the bag also will determine how much you can get back for it so those are some of the things that i recommend i definitely like this bag i i have been eyeing the gucci um marmont bag so eventually i will get the, that one as well and then i can do a comparison video um but since this one had one on sale i decided to go ahead and get that one but I'm still going to save up for um, the Gucci bag as well because I have been eyeing that for months. Um, but I decided to get this one as well to match my wallet that I have. So if you haven't watched that video, I definitely recommend you watching the review I did on my YSL wallet as well. And if you're wondering what type of hair this is Love Me Headband Wig, I also did recently did a video on that as well. If you like this video and you would like to see more videos of relating to luxury items, please feel free to subscribe and hit the like button. I do videos on um, luxury, lifestyle, and travel, a little travel. So I will be doing some travel videos and some hauls on some of the items that I'll um, be wearing on my vacation next month. So stay tuned for those and thank you for watching.